Hello, and welcome to <laughs> Magic Fallout Production. <laughs> I'm doing a series called Making Fallout, where I make things that famous YouTubers haven't made yet. It sucks because they've made all the things that I want to make. They've just been focusing on weapons. Let's get to some armor. We're going to start off with wood armor. I think you can make it, and you can also find it in the Fallout series 76. I know just the bark. Thick oak. It's about an inch thick, so this might have some hope for it. It's heavy though, because, well, it's oak. In order to test and see how good this is. Okay, here's the setup. I put a styrofoam block to see if it penetrates. So we're going to use a 60 pound compound. And that most likely will happen. <laughs> So we're going to tone it down a bit and use a knife, uh, not to shank, but to throw. You can make throwing knives and fall out. Now before we put the piece of bark in front of the styrofoam here, I want to see what the damage output is without the bark. Well, it's stuck all the way. <laughs> Go figure. Then again, we're not made of styrofoam. Now with the bark. So yeah, I think uh, it'll protect you from throwing knives. <laughs> all right, pellet gun. Wow, uh, nothing. I think it got lodged in there. I know what breaks wood. Hatchets. <laughs> you can find these in Fallout community in Appalachia, almost everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Nice. How about my scorched deathclaw gauntlet I made years back? <laughs> but Sky, didn't people already make deathclaw gauntlets? Those are props from prop makers. I make props that actually work. <laughs> These right here, they're not EVA foam. They're not styrene plastic. These are deer antlers. And they shred surprisingly. They're pretty thick with keratin. And I think this could do some damage. <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage! Can this bark? really be good armor it's surprisingly uh good for, against melee if you had something a little harder behind the bark you just might survive a couple hits here and there so let's get to working on the armor and results <laughs> let me show you how i made it First off, I used cheap vinyl leather because no way am I going to use my good leather. From behind, I just screwed the leather and hot glued it. And then on top of the leather that I screwed on the bark, some nice foam. So if I want to wear it without my coat, it won't scratch me. 
pretty loose. Um, all I did was I just tied it on there. <laughs> I know I'm pretty cheap right now, but this is just bark. And I don't want to use all my good stuff on something that's easily, you know, puncturable. And what you could do is put some metal behind it. Not cheap white metal, but, you know, imagine the stealth you could have just by tying on bark to every ligament. It's like a ghillie suit, but it has, you know, more density. You can just blend into the fours. So Fallout might have an idea about the bark armor. It's cheap because you can find bark anywhere, but depending on the bark that you use, it won't help, <laughs> even if it is ironwood. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do. Thanks and all. See you later.